Hello guys, this is Javen from the Nitros channel. Today we are going to be playing uh, part two of Bound by Flames, and let's hit continue. They're all around us. That was difficult. This is kind of, you know, <laughs> just doing heavy. I mean, kind of just like in the way. Uh, I need bones. What did I buy? I get bones. I'm guessing from um, skeletons, maybe. So apparently, I could command her warrior stance. Oh, it's a delete, I think. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 I see, I see. Defend yourself. You're on your own. Attack from a distance. Heal us. So, there's split pathways. I'm guessing there's multiple paths that I can take to get to my destination. Looking I over here. I thought the creature had taken over again here in the swamp, but I sense there is something else. Jesus Christ. What? Okay, so Okay, so she's a healer, which is really cool in my opinion. Is that Dark Souls? Oh, it's joking. But there's a sword right there. It's pretty cool. Mm. Let me jump down. Ah, uh, I guess you can't jump in this. Oh. I think. What did you people do to me anyway? Where does this power come from? Well, they're fighting each other. The captain asked my father the same question. I have no idea what happened. I swear it. But we're going to do everything we can to find out. Hmm. Better. So I guess these uh, skeletons uh, give. I got a freaking axe. Gives me like weapons. See, the the problem is I don't want an axe because I am an assassin. Oh jeez. I got this. It's 
amazing we have no records of these animals. Oh jeez. Oh, that's a person. Jeez. Pretty bad ass. But I think he needs some help. Hey, this guy's fucking fearless. Let's help him out before it goes bad for him. Level top in the very end. Despite his determination, the knight was in an awkward position. He thanks the mercenary for having assisted him in his task. If he can trust the rumors that he hears around the village, he has before him one called Falcon. He has the pleasure of welcoming the mercenary to the village. And you are? The knight is called Ren. Last survivor of the Order of the Amber Knights, and now protector of Valvenor, this village. The new arrival is most welcome, but the steward is waiting in the old village inn. I knew, I knew I was famous. This is Valvenor. It is not a beautiful place, but for the time being, it seems to be unknown to the Deadwalker army. This village has known better days. Before the war, it was popular among the rich hunters who came to enjoy the ample game in the swamps. Today, the only visitors are refugees, who are sadly too numerous for the scant resources of the village. A small healing house provides comfort and succor to the injured. The knight is quite fond of Mirana, the healer who runs the place. Does the mercenary see the building opposite? was once an inn, but it is now the residence of the steward, the man now in charge of the village. This is a very large inn, considering the size of the village. There must have been many visitors before the war. With any luck, we might get to sleep in a real bed tonight. Wand is our best defense. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily. And each new wave of refugees increases the risk of drawing unwanted attention to this jungle. No Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Especially the defenses around that refugee camp of yours. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to defend our village. Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. And the case of Prince Orendale was completely beyond her skills. And there is this beast story, doubtless another fairy tale, the fruit of an alcohol-addled brain. Nonetheless, several of the watch have gone missing. Something hidden in these swamps is causing these disappearances, but we cannot risk sacrificing any more of the few men remaining to us on sending patrols. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others, quite simply, do not return. <sighs> Silence! If I were to listen to everyone, I would need ten times the number of men I have to verify the truth of every tale. Enough! You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless wailings are unbearable. 
in the name of... Vulcan? But by the gods, man, what is... This world is condemned. The cold hath invaded its ground, its souls, and its heart. Yet here you stand, weaving your limbs like fish taken from the water, miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath, while I must endure your wailings and lamentations. Pitiful. Vulcan, stop this nonsense immediately. It is not he who speaks. All the fall to ruin about you, yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomitings. You cannot vanquish your dead walkers, no more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They draw their power from the very heart of the world. They drink it, they suckle it dry. Your only chance to cleanse what your own hath corrupted is to go to the world heart and liberate it from its servitude. The world heart is a myth, a forgotten fairy tale, no more real than dragons or dwarves. A myth. Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales. Cease your pretense. I know you have returned to consciousness. What the hell happened? I was just listening to the steward blabbing away with the captain, and then... And then you lost control. I don't know. It's like something in my head zapped me so it could use my mouth. But I was still there, still thinking what I was saying. This is not the first time you have felt this presence manifest itself. No. No, it's been there since the temple. It's also in my dreams. I think... Hmm, interesting. It would seem that your body is host to some other entity. And it is clearly a spirit of fire. No kidding. I got a demon in my head. Something of the kind. In truth, I could not say what it is. Not yet, at least. Don't make me laugh. After all, it's your disciples that let this thing out of its cage, right? That has nothing to do with it. Do you have any idea of the implications of this incident? What? Just because I said some weird shit? Believe me, it's not the first time that's happened. Obviously, you haven't understood. The thing that is inside you, it wishes you ill. There is not enough space inside you for two souls. That demon wants your body. It will control you more and more until it has replaced you completely. Ha! Huh. Thou thinkest I crave the body of a mortal? I am a prisoner here. My place is in the world heart. It will not hesitate to lie to you, to tell you that which you wish to hear, so that you will allow it to consume you. I never asked for this cage. I never asked to be forced to hear thy every thought. It is I who have been invaded. It speaks to you. Do not listen to it. Cast it from you. If you do not resist, it will crush your soul. Hey, take it easy. One day at a time, okay? I'm gonna take a walk. I'm not coming back up, I'm guessing. Yes, yes, I know what you're thinking, mercenary. 
<laughs> That's exactly what I said. Um? Can I get a save point? Stop pulling out the sword. Jeez, he wants a kiss from me. Oh, jeez, a strong kiss that way. Can I get him back up? You don't look much like a good lover. Wait, I'm ready! Let me level up! Does more damage. Oh Jesus Christ! That is... No, stop! You're aiming for the wrong person. Which one does more damage? Let's just pretend like this does more damage. Come on. There we go. And I didn't even use the sword. Get a wreck hit. Jeez. Overkill? Have a Ted? That was kind of tiring. You're repetitive. This is horrible. We can't just leave that woman in this prison. We must find a way to free her from here. Sybil, do not do that! I know this woman. She is not here by accident. She is a witch. If you free her, we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic. But father, we can't just let this poor person die here. It would be inhuman. I don't fucking inhuman? care. Inhuman? That is exactly what she is, my child. He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her! Father? She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child! I'm begging you, get me out of here! I can't hold on much longer! So be it. I get paid for protecting you, not arguing with you. But you'll be explaining yourself to the captain. Have you lost your mind? There is no question of leaving this poor woman to die here. This war cannot be won at the price of our humanity. I don't care. She's bad. Stay away, you stupid girl! No! 
fools! Leave her in that cage! I said that. Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Look what I said, you fucking bitch. Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Father! Oh no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you would die back there in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. meal will be your own time. Character. That's a change. Too bad it doesn't seem to be accompanied by a minimum of clear thinking. From what I can see, you're an imbecile. Incapable of piercing the face that hides the true nature of the Red Scribes. Well, I can pierce your face, if that's all you want. In several places. Mock, if you like. Lamb that you are, you insist on believing that your employers are only scholars, curious and inoffensive. Can you not see more? Red scribes, ice lords, they come from the same mold and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the ice lords. That's why he questioned me. Ridiculous! You are the monster! You're a liar! My father wasn't like that! A liar! You murderer! You'll pay for what you did! Why is she running? Witch, I suggest you behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I'm far from finished with you. I have questions. Lots of questions. And you had better make damn sure I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. I'll be pissed. But I gotta go face him. Well, first go see your steward before the villagers decide to burn me at the stake. I mean, if you want to, Vulcan. It'll probably turn into an interrogation pretty quickly. Try not to make it worse for yourself. And don't kill anyone, for starters. Especially if he's wearing red. That seems reasonable to me, for the moment. Fucking dick. I'd rather stay here, if you don't mind. Why? You're not planning to give me the slip by any chance, are you? I don't like the idea of getting locked up by the Red Scribes again. It might provoke me into a loss of my legendary restraint. And I'm sure that you don't want to have to scrape another one of your employers up off the ground. Hmm. Well, it's true that I prefer they remain in one piece. All right, fine, you can stay here. But if you do get it in your head to run away, I will find you. You won't like it when I do. I'm trembling. But yes, I'll wait here. Did you find this famous beast? Found it and killed it. But don't hold your breath waiting for its fur for next winter, because I didn't bring it back for you. Excellent news. I knew the village could count on you. Actually, not so excellent. Aelis is dead. Dead? But no, that's not possible. Uh, are you sure? When it doesn't move and it doesn't breathe and it looks at you with an even stupider gaze than one of your guards, that generally means it's dead, yeah. I demand that you show some respect. The Red Scribes are a precious help to us here. Aeolus was a useful man, a, a good man, and he was under your care. Oh, please. Your good man had a few skeletons in his closet. He was controlling the swamp bees to keep people away. He had you all fooled. Aelus was even ready to kill his own daughter to cover up his secrets. What nonsense is this? 
How can you make such ridiculous accusations? Uh -huh. Am I to understand he died at your hands? He turned up all alone at the place where I fought the beast. No guide, no escort. He knew the way. And after coming after Sybil, he tried to kill his captive to shut her up. There was a fight, and he didn't survive. What madness. What do you know of this prisoner? If Aeolus held her captive, she must have been dangerous. She doesn't talk much, but something tells me she knows more than she's letting on about the Ice Lords. I don't like this. You realize you may have set a wolf among the sheep. Or maybe someone who could be useful in our fight with the Deadwalkers. Well then, you must find out immediately. As of now, she is your responsibility. I should deliver her to the Red Scribes without any further ado. Yet, after what you have told me, I no longer know what to think. She will be given a fair hearing. Until that time, she never leaves your presence. If there is the least incident, I promise you, you shall answer for it. And there is no prison here, in case you had not noticed. Okay. Sounds fair to me. <sighs> However low your opinion was of Aeolus, his death is a great loss for Valvanor. He was meant to be looking into a most disturbing matter. All right, I can see where this is headed. What do you want? There is no guarantee that you have the necessary skills to handle this matter, Freeborn Blade. Even Mirana is flummoxed. What is it? An epidemic? That's exactly what I'd like to know. Several of the villagers have been behaving curiously of late. They have become distant, taciturn, and barely react to the world around them. They're just hungover. You'd know if you got drunk more often. And you look like you need to. I believe there are a few here who know the difference. It's something else. They seem very concentrated. As though they are observing us. I feared some kind of sickness and that it will spread throughout the village. Got it. I'll slap him around a little. That should wake him up. My goodness. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but I must confess the results interest me more than the methods. Well, that's gonna be my method, so let's leave it at that if you don't mind. I'm not helping you because you made puppy eyes at the captain. So apparently I was supposed to ask a question. As I understand it, some people are behaving even more stupidly than they normally do? That's right. They have asked me to check it out. Perfect. I'll come along with you. Hang on. What is your interest in all of this? Is there some special reason you want to continue this investigation with me? I am trapped in a filthy village full of hateful and suspicious peasants who wouldn't hesitate one second to burn me at the stake if you weren't here to stop them. If I stick with you, it's far less risky. And who knows? If I can help you, maybe they'll end up accepting me. Okay, fine. Follow me. Vulcan! For fuck's sake! What did you do to Aeolas? I never laid a finger on him, Captain. But if you want my opinion, I think he screwed us over. So you had to kill him? That was our fucking employer! Could you not take two God's damn seconds to think about that? I didn't kill him. It was this woman, Edwin. She killed him. That's what they told me. That doesn't change the fact that that dish rag of a scribe was our client. And your job was to protect him. If he was trying to fuck us over, it's up to me to deal with that. And for a starter, where did this wee tart that's spilling out of her dress come from? She was his prisoner in the swamp. It looks like he was trying to get information out of her, which she obviously didn't give him, considering she's still alive. All right, then. Maybe she can be of use to us. I already spoke with Aeolas's assistant. Seems he pulled the wool over their eyes as much as he did ours. They're petrified. So they've agreed to honor their contract with us. I need you to get this Edwin woman to talk. 
I want to know where she's from, who she is, who she works for. All of it. Watch out for the Red Scribes. You don't want to get fooled twice. Understood, Captain. I'll check it out. If you can find Hawk, tell him to get his arse back here. I sent him out on a recon mission and he still hasn't come. Do you think something happened to him? Well, there aren't any decent whorehouses around here, so yes, something may well have happened to him. I'll find him. I'm leaving. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's wrong with them? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers. But the odd thing is how they're spread. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. See you later. I only see one couple. I was in a couple. Hello. You all right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hmm. Good day. Are you related to this man? You might say that. Miliev is my husband. I'm called Nigella. Well, uh, uh, do you know what's wrong with him? Have you noticed anything strange about him lately? Well, of course I noticed. He's the one is a vegetable, not me. Still, I must admit, it's been nice and peaceful. Alright, I'm back and we figured out um, that a lot of the villagers have been leaving around at night. And um, I'm just now going back to um, uh, somebody, like one of our guards, I think. Oh, the drunken dude, yeah, him. Is it true you killed the bee? Is it true you quit the booze? What? Ah, oh, that's a load of bollocks. I thought so, but I did kill the beast. Right, okay then. You and me, we got off on the wrong foot. We owe you one. That's a man's job you done. According to the steward, some of the villagers have been acting strange. Your man Jervis, he seems even more out of it than the rest of your troops. Oh, him, yeah. Last couple of days, he's gone completely stupid. Shit. He's got it, too. He's gonna go all gaga like those other weirdos. The fact that he led all the other weirdos on an expedition didn't surprise you any? Where'd they go? Well, now you mention it, yeah, obviously. It makes sense. They went off toward the southeast, if I remember right. Worthless wine sop. Right. I'll check it out. <laughs> what the fuck? Like dead walkers. What the fuck? Where did they get the swords from? And why did they all see?
That was a close one. This whole business stinks. If we can't tell the difference between one of these creatures and the villagers, we're totally fucked. It seemed like they were coming back from the southeast swamps. Maybe something down there is causing all this shit. I just killed like seventy people. Whatever power be the origin of these possessions, it be ours. I'll check it out.